Okay, so I'm just going to do, this is really just a quick video on an overview of uh, a rental stump grinder. I picked one up at uh, Home Depot, it's a Toro uh, stump grinder. It's got the little tiny wheel on the front with uh, three little cutting, uh, cutting teeth on it. Uh, standard cutting teeth. These are okay. Um, so... I was always curious as to how good these stacked up against the um, <clears throat> the really big ones, like the self-propelled ones. So I figured I'd rent it. I've got a couple of smaller um, smaller stumps like those that need to be ground down. And I've got a big one also, which I'm going to wait to do last. I see it over there. Ooh, sorry. Okay, so rock removal took a little bit longer than expected, but. Uh, figure the tree's been here for 60 70 years those rocks haven't moved in 60 or 70 plus years <laughs> and they've had the weight of the tree on top of them so I've got that little hole see a little hole right there uh, opened up now so I could uh, pull out the rest of this or grind up the rest of this Okay, I've got that left side all down to a reasonable depth now, so I'm going to try to get all this junk out of the way. I'm trying to conserve two things, the teeth on the, the tool itself and also my arms. So, uh, to be honest with you, it, it's, this is number two and i got four more to go. Uh, i got two smaller ones and then a medium one and then a really big one. Uh, so I'm really kind of trying to save myself for the last one. So this is it for this one. Next one I'm going to do is right over here. I don't even know if you could see it in there. That little right there. And that this one I'm I'm not looking to kill. I'm just going to give it a couple of sweeps. So I'm not even going to film this one. Uh, next one will be another one that's actually kind of in, in between trees inside of our little garden area. So there are three teeth on the stump grinder, um, and each of the teeth, oops, <laughs> now there are only two. Now there are three teeth, and each of the teeth have three little squared up edges, and those lock the tooth in different positions. And what you could do is, if this tooth is coming down and hitting this edge over and over and over again, it's going to wear out. So you could see... This has been worn, kind of worn down a bit. You could actually loosen them and re-clock them. Um, it's at 120 degrees so that you can get a new, kind of a new cutting face. Um, so that's what I did before. And uh, I've got one more cutting face to go if, this, uh, if I have any problems with this last stump. So I'm gonna put the, this tooth back on, start cutting this down and uh, let's see how far I get. Okay, uh, back, put a few more minutes into it now, and looks like I basically just have to do like that section there. Um, 
think. We'll see. We'll see how many more uh, wheelbarrows full of uh, sawdust I'm pulling out. That made a lot of sawdust. I'm gonna take the full wheelbarrow out, gonna fill it up a couple more times and dump it again. Let's see how it looks after that. And you can see the square's getting smaller. It's kind of square, kind of center. It's getting smaller and smaller. So let's see how it looks after I clean it up. So I'm realizing that as I'm going, I'm digging, digging in by the edge of the stump. I'm digging in a little hill Right, I actually need to backfill that a little bit because I don't have a footing to put the stump grinder on so it has nothing to actually sit on. And what it's doing is it's sitting in that hill and it's getting stuck. So I started packing up closer. I'm actually a lot further along than I thought I was. Um, that gave me a good reference for you know how high the ground is compared to where the stump is. So I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer so you can watch uh, hopefully last a uh, few passes on this.
Hi. That is about as far down as I can get on this one, just because of the amount of uh, stuff coming up on the edge. And if you look at that, hold on, just covered it up. There's a rock in there too. Right there. So the rock's catching the, uh, the edges and uh, dulling the teeth, I'm sure. So I think that's it. I think that, yeah. That is the end of uh, getting getting that stump out. So overall, it's actually you know if your expectations are reasonable, I think this is a decent you know rental. It cost me about two hundred nine bucks. I spent uh, a couple bucks more in gas, obviously to keep it you know to fill it up uh, and uh, keep it gassed up. Um, I got six stumps done. Four of which were pretty weak, but uh, two, one decent size, one and one, I'd say, monster that was probably a lot bigger than, oh, I know it was bigger than what this thing's rated for, bigger than what you should cut down with this. But, I mean, if the teeth are good, I think it's a good rental. The machine itself, the only thing, the only two problems I had with it is that you're only able to lock one side. So you lock one side and then you pivot, you pivot the head on that. And when you get into larger areas like this, it's a pain. Also, like you're pulling muscles on one side of your body, but not the other. You're like trying to trying to get my hips involved so it wouldn't, uh, so I could actually swivel some more. The other thing I don't understand why so many gas-powered engines have the exhaust pointed right at the operator. I don't know why they do that. Um, I was wearing a mask. Well, I was wearing a bandana for a while there to keep the dust down, but the dust really wasn't a problem. Most of this was pretty darn wet, so wasn't kicking up that much so I took the mask off and I wish I'd worn it because I was just basically huffing fumes all day which you know it's not the worst thing in the world but it's definitely not fun um so there it is that's how it did um I think it did all right for the price um it's what your time is worth I guess you know you could always go with uh paying someone to get it done or I don't know how else you'd get one out uh backhoe maybe or you know if you have access to like dynamite and it's not too close to your house you know that's the way they used to do it was dynamite but uh i don't think that's uh, an option nowadays for anyone so not bad not a bad rental um thank you very much for watching i hope this helps you figure out if one of these rentals uh, works for you for whatever your project is uh, thanks for watching check out my other videos and subscribe and all that other fun stuff and uh, have a good day thanks